Okay, so today we're going to look at the swimming dragons forming some applications for actual uh, combat or, or fighting. So um, the swimming dragons form, you know, the the, uh, the body swimming. So a lot of people focus on the drills for the arms, but you have to start with the um, working with the core. So uh, the application of these movements is uh, has to be practiced and it's really to absorb or deflect people when they're hit, hitting the body so <clears throat> very basic drill one drill that you can practice um, is actually just pushing each other with the fist or with the palm so uh, Scott remember swimming dragons you have to be very relaxed okay if uh, if Peter pushes me Start in the the, ex, the the lateral part of the body, of the extremities, so the body spins. Later on, you'll take it to the center to absorb it, but starting off, it's easier to the outside of the body. So if Peter pushes me, yeah, he pushes me with his fist. Uh, so I'm relaxed. If I tense just my right foot, nothing else, Relax the rest of my body and he pushes me. This is why you have to keep going inside with swimming dragons to make sure your whole body is working. I suppose like the water element of Xing Yi uh, or, or Bagua, you have to move the, the body as one unit. And that's, I noticed myself, and I'm sure a lot of, of you did when you practice the Prayer Mantis, you tend to focus on your arms a lot uh, instead of connecting the whole body. Depends on what, what level you're at. And you can hold excess tension. Another thing as well um, is if you're just if you're going into stuff all the time, you get away with it for so long. But some people hit really, really hard, so you don't want to be taking your shots a hundred percent all the time. Um, another friend of mine is a good saying: uh, most heroes are in the graveyard, so you don't have to take everything <laughs> full on. So <clears throat> don't get in a stance when you're doing this. It's easier if we're in a stance, uh, like a, a fighting stance, you know, and you're doing it, you, you have a lot more balance, but you can get away with tension then. When you're standing square on, uh, you have to, you have to relax, yeah? So start one for one. So you're pushing the shoulders, ribs, and the pelvis. Then you turn it to a fist, just with your fist. When he's pushing low, a lot of you might lock the knees and go back, so a lot of people tense up and go back here. He pushes low, just let, let the knees go, yeah? You're just absorbing everything. Let it go through you into the ground. This is what your swimming dragons is about. And then you'll turn your you can uh, turn your push into a punch. So if I so rather than just here, yeah. So if I punch, he does the same thing. So, so a lot of that energy has come out. If he punches and it don't move, he's put it in there. I've held it in there. So uh, here. Dao Joy, drop it, yeah. So this is your swimming dragon. This is why you move like this. People are running strikes down, you're deflecting them. And then you're coming back with your own strike. So, uh, once again, it's practice. Start slow, pushing, push with the fist, and then uh, you can go into your stance. It's easier in the stance, you can get away with tension, so better starting square on with each other, and you'll know uh, if you're holding any tension in the body. So, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video.